Hello everyone. I wanted to react to something that the actor uh, Christoph Waltz said, because apparently he's going to be in a new version of uh, Dracula, a new adaptation of Dracula, but he said something that I profoundly um, disagree with, and that is but apparently he tried to read Dracula the novel and he thought it was quite boring, is, is what he said, yeah, flat and boring. Well, I've always liked Christoph Waltz as an actor, but when he said that, I frankly lost a lot of respect for him. Um, and I honestly don't think that if, if an actor doesn't like the book that they will be adapting, then it's probably better for them to, to not even work on the project at all, because the passion just is not going to come through in most cases. But he also said something that profoundly um, disturbed me, and that was that apparently the director sees Dracula as a love story. Well, first of all, Dracula is not a love story. I'm tired of hearing this. If you've actually read the book, it never has been a love story. It never will be a love story. And I don't have a problem with love stories. The book that I just wrote is essentially a love story. There are other gothic horror love stories. Uh, the Phantom of the Opera is a type of love story. The Mummy is a, a love story. But Dracula is not supposed to be a romantic figure in any way. And again, I don't have a problem with love stories. I don't have a problem with vampire love stories. But Dracula is not one of them. It is not a love story. Um, Dracula is uh, basically an, an antichrist uh, figure. And in the a, a demonic figure and in the book, there is no hint whatsoever that Dracula is romantically attracted to Mina. And Mina is not romantically attracted to Dracula at all, at all. Um, in the um, in the book, um, Dracula is, is more his blood is more like a drug. When when the scene where Mina is drinking from Dracula's chest, um, she's doing it because she craves it in the way that she would a drug. It's not because she's in love with Dracula. In fact, she constantly talks about in the book that she feels unclean, uh, sinful, tainted. She's not longing to be with Dracula in any way. Dracula is a, a predator. Um, he's an antichrist figure in some ways. Um, if, for example, one thing that I don't think is emphasized enough um, in the um, in the film adaptations is that um, Dra Dracula is the inverse of Christ in the sense that, uh, symbolically in the sense that, in Christ talks about at, at the Last Supper, maybe not the last, but you know, one of the 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 the, uh, the suppers that. Uh, that um, in order to have life, he must, metaphorically speaking, consume his flesh. But in the um, in uh, Dracula, Dracula con consume, consumes your flesh, your blood, so he can have life. So it's a complete inverse, and I also feel that that symbol, that uh, metaphor, uh, doesn't get expressed enough in Dracula. But Dracula is not a love story, and I've never actually seen Dracula uh, done properly. In a, in, a, in a film adaptation because in Bram Stoker's Dracula um, they make it where there's some reincarnation love storyline between um, between um, Mina and Dracula that's the mummy it's not it's not Dracula I don't know why they would, they would want to call it Bram Stoker's Dracula because it resembles the plot in a shallow sort of way but there's n but it's not the book at all it does not contain many of the deeper themes of the book and I, I kind of agree with what George R. R. Martin uh, said about a lot of uh, film adaptations of books, and that is that there's always somebody who thinks that they can do it better um, than the than the uh, the writer of the book. No matter how no matter how profound or um, or uh, or deep or, or or of a reputation that a writer has, they always think the 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 filmmaker, the director, the writer, they always think they can do it better than than the writer of the book. And it's that fundamental hubris is, is why a lot of adaptations fail. Um, because frankly, many screenwriters are not as great or not as, as, are not as good as many of the greatest literary writers of all, of all time or have any background or any knowledge of it whatsoever. And, and, it, and it's that hubris which leads to so many flimsy adaptations. Now I will say this, that I do think that there are a lot of good Dracula films there's a lot of good Dracula, like Bela Lugosi, even though the, the, the film is inaccurate, captured the spirit and essence of Dracula, even though the film has many inaccuracies. It's, it's an adaptation of a stage play and uh, not the book. 
and then you have the Hammer films, which are also pretty good in their own ways, but they're not the book. And 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 to me, and, and after a hundred years, I think we need a, a faithful adaptation of Dracula. There are so many scenes in the book that have never been in the film. Like for example, there's a there's a scene where uh, they're trying they're chasing Dracula during the day, and they they um. They're waiting for Dracula at one of his houses to catch him, and then they try to catch him, and, and but then he jumps out the window and he gives this speech about revenge, and that's never been in any of the adaptations that I've ever seen. And it, and I think, but there's so much you could do with the book that they just don't do because many directors just go in their own direction instead of faithfully adapting the book, which is the hubris which, which leads to a lot of lackluster products. So I just think it's a shame that after 100 years, after a hundred years of adapting Dracula, we still haven't gotten a faithful adaptation of the book.